close that. What we just went to is the uh, I just did a Google search for um, KFMN, and it comes up and it says there's 3D scenery available on the gateway. So we downloaded that. We're then going to take this scenery and we'll extract it. I use 7-zip for my extractions. KFMN will go inside the folder. And uh, we'll copy this over to the X-Plane 11 custom scenery folder. Paste. Now, and we'll delete our scenery pack INI file, KFMN, and then we'll uh, relaunch. And let's take a look. Thank you. Thank you, Lars Rass. Appreciate that. I should probably make that a command. I mean, it. Yeah, probably. Because I'll probably be flying this plane a fair amount. Um, let's go over here to four flight maps flight plan we'll get rid of the ILS plate clear the flight plan we'll go K F M N where do we want to fly to we could fly Should we just fly down to Albuquerque or up to Grand Junction, up to, we could fly over to Vegas, it's not too far. Hmm. I just don't know. All right, 172. Go to Skyhawk. Make sure we choose the 750 GTN version. And we go to KFMN. Brand new airport covered by the Pallet Edge area. Ramp Start 2 looks good. And we'll, law, we'll rock the John Fly Gold livery today. All right, we're loading up. This is in this is four corners. Um, it hasn't quite loaded it up. Four Corners Regional Airport in Farmington, New Mexico. And here we are. We got the dual GTN 750s. The airport looks pretty good. Not bad, not bad. That tree is a little bit of a, an issue. But it's okay. We'll deal with it. Got a hangar, got a couple runways. There we go. Farmington, New Mexico. I've never been here before. And we're
we're rocking the uh, the gold. There's a gold and a yellow and a red version of this plane. Let's go. Battery on. Beacon on. Fuel pump on. Mixture. <gasps> oh, crap. Did it again. All right. Well, we'll have to flight plan because I've got to reallocate the sound card. I always forget that. Sound card test is good. Maybe we'll just do some sightseeing around four corners maybe we'll track a VOR we could do a touch and go over at Cortez or Durango uh, Dove Creek VOR yeah maybe we'll just do some sightseeing around And while we're here, let's do a little in-flight, uh, a little in-flight raid. raid. If we can get uh, six peop, five people. Let's go with five. Five people to say O oh, snack in this guy's stream. Five. And I'll give everyone 500 John fly miles. So let's go over there. There. Go click on that link for a moment and type in Osnack in his chat. This is in-flight raidy raid. And I've been working on, I've been modding the Hawker, so that's been taking a bit of my time as well. So I'll probably do a, a Hawker test stream. Just five Osnacks is all we need. Point. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Let me, uh... Let's go battery on. We got three O snacks. Alaska four sixty six contact LA center one three three point one two three four. We got it. We got five O snacks. <laughs> oh snack. Oh snack. Oh snack arena. Four zero four same for you contact LA center one three three point five five. Get it. Four one three three five five delta four zero four. Oh snack lips. <laughs> All right, battery on. We'll go uh, beacon on, and we'll go uh, uh, fuel uh, mixture, fuel pump on. Save All right. The other guy. Last four sixty six center to send via Iron Man one arrival. Okay. Eight four zero four same for you. Everyone. At all. I'll give 550, because that was quick. LA Center, Delta 404, flight level 2902, climbing flight level 340. Delta 404, Alright, uh, fuel pump can come off, and let's uh, crank her over a little and, bit. Uh, Jessica 757, thanks for the follow. Who else followed? Razor. That's my friend Crazy Diamond. Thanks for giving him some love. Oregon, thanks for the follow. 
All right, battery's on. Let's turn the alternator on. And we'll turn uh, avionics on. We're taking a rotate MD-80 to, uh, to Salt Lake. Little in flight radio raid of the crazy diamond. Thanks, guys. Everyone was given 550 John Fly miles. All right. Uh, let's, um, let's do taxi light. Well, we won't turn on yet. Let's check our comms. So I'm going to come down here and do. Let's try this. Um, if I go to map. I go to menu and I go to that amount of info. And I click on KFMN and I go to waypoint info and then I go to frequencies and I want to talk to ground 121.7. Flip that into the com. That's pretty cool. So KFMN, just cross verify that with the four flight. It says ground is 121.7, so that's good. It says tower is 118.9, so if we go again over here to frequencies and we go to tower, boom, tower's now in standby. That is pretty cool. We better get off the runway though. We're not on the runway, we're over here. All right, plugins, pilot edge, connect, uh, 572 Delta X-ray, C172, and we'll connect. Connected to pilot edge. All right, so uh, we're just going to do a VFR departure. Dot com 424, roger, thank you. Yeah, well, let's just fly up to, uh, hmm. Yeah, we'll fly towards Las Vegas. So we're going to track the first VOR that we're going to track. How far away is that one? Let's test that. Ooh, that's a long ways. Uh, November 61 Kilo Charlie, say intention. We'll go up to the Cortez uh, VOR sure. first. So. Uh, we'll take off. Okay, I show you crossing the ones you were given to. And we'll, we'll take off from uh, from Four Corners Regional, uh, and then we're gonna so track the uh, right the Cortez uh, VOR 108.4. Yeah, sorry, we'll give sure. The one kilo Charlie, okay, Roger. Uh, runway two at right, continue via Charlie, and uh, yeah, just be advised in the future you do need to obtain an explicit instruction to cross any runway. So if we go okay. here. Sorry, well, one kilo Charlie. And we go nearest VOR. We got the Rattlesnake VOR. That's kind of cool. Which is the VOR right here in town. We got the Durango VOR, 33 miles away. And then the Cortez, which is 42. So we could go to Durango. Yeah, we'll go to Durango instead. So I'm going to click on Durango, and then it brings up this, and I'm going to bring up, I'm going to click that frequency. I'll go ahead and put that in the, uh, put that in there. So what we'll be, what we'll be doing is um, a, a VFR departure to the northeast. And then, yeah. That ought to work. Uh, no, this is not a payware Cessna. This is the free Cessna that comes with uh, X Pen 11. Crab member, hello. All right, let's call um, our call sign. Oh, you know what I need to do? 
I need to do a quick thing here. So here, plugins, pilot edge, file flight plan. Um, I need to do a quick screenshot for Benny Sim. He wanted to see this. So we're inside the sim. There's a quick screenshot. He wanted to see the, uh, because Benny Sim is going to incorporate some pilot edge functionality into the, um, into the Benny overlay, which will be kind of handy. So that's good. Okay, so back over the four flights, since we've never been to this field before, we need to go here, taxiways, uh, and the airport is called Farmington. So we say Farmington Ground, and then we say who we are, where we are, and what we want to do. Not that we need fly following, because there's not going to be any traffic around here, but let's see what happens. We'll get ready for a taxi as well. Taxi. I will get five following just so we'll get a squat code to test that. See how that goes. That's what I thought that it did. Yeah, it's got a yeah, it's got a mod on it. All right, so, yeah, let's get the weather. I wonder if myflightroute.com has the new airport already. It does. Oh, he's on top of it. Ken is on top of it. India. All right, let's call. Farmington Ground, November 572 Delta X-ray, a Skyhawk at Atlantic. We'd like to depart VFR to uh, Durango with flight following at uh, 6, 7,000. We have information India. That was kind of a fumbled call a little bit. November 572 Delta X-ray Farmington Ground. Roger. Um, I'm sorry. Say again your uh, requested, uh, or say again your entire request. I apologize. Uh, no worries. Uh, we'd like a flight, a north a departure to the north, a VFR departure to the northeast, flight following to Durango at uh, various altitudes, and uh, we're over here at Atlantic with India. 572 Delta X-ray. November 572, Delta X-ray. Say again, your aircraft type? Skyhawk. Sky 2, Delta X-ray, Roger. On request, standby. Hey, Tony. Probably should do... Durango, so K D R O. Uh. Oh, it's quite a high minimum en route altitude for for. Uh. But we're not, we're not going IFR. Can this be installed into the X-Plane 10? No, it cannot. Only works on 11. Yeah, this plane doesn't exist in 10. And I, I've never attempted to, to try to load it. I, I don't, maybe it would load, but I doubt it. 
I could be wrong though. Maybe it would, maybe it would load. I don't think so though. Number 61 Kilo Charlie, holding short to it right. Number 61 Kilo Charlie, San Francisco Tower, runway 28 right, cleared for takeoff, wind 290018, and departure to the south approved. Kilo Charlie, come to the right, departure to the south for 61 Kilo Charlie. Dot com 424, descend at pilot's discretion, maintain 12000. Can we follow your four flight? What do you mean? We're just waiting for the controller to come back with a some sort of instruction. November 572 Delta X-ray, apologize for the delay. Runway 7, taxi via Alpha, cross runway 5 at Alpha. Okay, to runway 7 via Alpha, cross runway 5 at Alpha, 572 Delta X-ray. All right, so... We're going to runway seven. So uh, you can see up here, we'll just turn on to, uh, we'll turn on to alpha right up here at the echo intersection. Then we'll make this left turn down alpha and we'll go where we've been given permission oh, to cross runway five. So that's cool. So we'll turn right here. Four flight has a moving map if that's what you mean. Yeah. Can can we track your plane? You can track it on the pilot edge map. So map.pilotedge.net. Let's lean for taxi. And I think technically when you cross a runway you should turn your lights on. Thank you, Rod. Uh, you have several friends who are running X Plane Ten. Yeah, I, I doubt it would work. I doubt the I doubt the default plane by itself would would work. Um, even w uh, re outside of the GTN seven fifties, but yeah, it's a pity that your friends didn't get it when it was on sale. X Plane Eleven was on sale up until. Uh, Three days ago, it was forty-six bucks. Uh, my call sign November five seven two Delta X Ray Moneyball. We can't install it at a payware Cessna. Uh, you can, the GTNs no, they don't work on the on a payware. I, it would be nice if we had the option to put them in the Airfoil Labs, but I don't know if that's how easy that is to incorporate into that plane. Look at that frame rate we're getting down below. That's awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we'll go a little brake on. We'll go landing lights on, taxi light off, navigation lights on, strobe lights on. I think we're ready to go. A little squawk uh, altitude. We didn't get a squat code though. No, seventeen forty one Seattle Center Roger. Click the call sign on the list. Yeah. Yep. We'll turn over to Tower now.
Embraer, one kilo, Charlie, contact, NorCal departure. Need back, or one kilo, Charlie. Do we need it? Rod, do we need a squat code if we're getting flight following? We do, don't we? Why does this modify it says not like use the default F mod sounds? Dot com 424 advise when you have the Sunray Airport in sight, 12 o'clock and 25 miles. Uh, it doesn't. I don't know. He'll give me a code. Okay. All right, we're at Farmington Tower. Farmington Tower, November 572, Delta X-ray holding short, runway 7. Have I picked? I have not picked up the updated B-1900. Someone told me not to. I'm kind of in a holding pattern, waiting to figure out what's, what's there. November 572, Delta X-ray, Farmington Tower. Runway 7 cleared for takeoff, wind 320 at 4, left turn on course approved. Okay, uh, uh, runway 7 cleared for takeoff, left on course approved. Uh, do we need a squawk for the uh, following? 572 Delta X-ray, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were looking for flight following as well. I had to update the files, that's why I was uh, looking here. I forgot that we were opening these airports today, I was out of office yesterday. Um, you can squawk uh, 4103, and I'll have the departure frequency for you once you're in the air. Uh, squawk four one zero three. Uh, thanks. Five seven two Delta X-ray. All right. Two Delta X-ray redeck is correct. And we'll do four one zero three. Enter. Hopefully that doesn't change. Delta seventeen three one contact Seattle Center one two one point four. Okay. So we'll go full mixture. We'll taxi into the runway. So yeah, it's a brand new airport on Pilot Edge. I can understand him. I don't think a whole lot of folks have flown out of here yet. The foliage looks nice down there. Let me get back to chat here in just a bit. November 61, Kilo Charlie, North Cal departure, radar contact, VFR climb approved, resume appropriate altitude for direction of flight, resume on navigation. All right. <laughs> 50 knots. 60 knots. Plane wants to take off. Rotate. Farmington! Delta 404, uh, direction Salt Lake Center, Roger. One more. Farmington, first ever departure. It's beautiful. Butanimous. Yeah, yeah. I'll get back to chat in just a second. All right, let's go autopilot on. We'll sync our heading bug. We'll go heading mode for a moment. We'll do vertical speed. We'll go up at uh, 500 feet per minute for a bit. No, 404, new clearance to Salt Lake Advice, ready to copy. We're just no, going go to go clear to Salt Lake City Airport. Direct uh, to the Rattlesnake VOR. One for arrival, maintain level 340. Let's do... Uh, uh, nearest VOR Rattlesnake. We'll tune that in. Delta 404, redeck correct. Should be straight ahead. There we go. We'll go. Delta 1741, descend via the hood three arrival, runway 28 right transition, Portland altimeter 301. Let's go back. 
Let's go nearest VOR rattlesnake. And we'll go direct to activate. And we'll go into Remember Air One Cable Charlie yeah. contact North Hell Approach one two one point three. See if we can get the uh, Durango VOR. Uh, nearest. November 2, Delta X ray contact, Denver Center 118.57. 1857, 2 Delta X ray, thanks. All right, let's do DOR. Let's go direct. Uh,. The number 61 Kilo Charlie, North Calipurge, Roger, San Jose Altimeter 29092, maintain VFR. DRO, sorry. Dot com 424, Roger, cleared uh, visual approach to the Sunray Airport. Report cancellation of IFR in the air or on the ground. This frequency change to advisory frequency approved. Dot com 424. Roger. IFR cancellation received. Squawk and maintain VFR. Frequency change approved. Denver Center, November 572. Delta X ray. 7,700 uh, climbing uh, to VFR altitudes and. Uh, That's all. Number 72 Delta X ray Denver Center Roger. Verify squawking 4103. No, uh, no uh, transponder observed. It, it screwed up again. Okay, 4103 uh, squawking 2 Delta X ray. Why did it do that again? Yeah, we need to lean it. You're right. For some reason, I set the squat code. Cessna Delta X-ray, thanks. Radar contact, two miles north of Rattlesnake VOR altitude indicates 8,200. Maintain VFR and resume on navigation. Maintain VFR, resume on nav, two Delta X-ray. All right, so we'll climb up to 9,500, and then we'll... But why did it reset? All right, back to chat here for a moment. Thanks, guys, for the patience. Uh, the prods game, what site did I use? I, I use x-plane.org. x-plane.org for most of my purchases. Fewer outside of that website, but uh, yeah. Probably shouldn't have used full mixture taking off at this altitude. That's a good idea. I, that's true. That's true. You can use plane command to manage VS mode by saying flight level change on in case you didn't know it. Oh. Really? Hmm. I didn't know that. All right, let's get. Oop. Don't want to lose our engine. There we go. Now we're leaned out. Climbing at uh, a whopping 96 knots. <laughs> and we're direct to Durango. Yeah, I don't know when that transponder kicked off. It was weird. It did it again. That's the second flight where I had set the squat code, and it went back to 1,200. So I got to isolate when that happened. If you hold your vertical speed when you initiate the command, it will hold your vertical speed when you initiate the command. And if you say flight level change, hmm, okay, that's cool. All right, coming up to 9,200. I didn't think about this, but actually, well, yeah. At 8,800, we're still VF. If we, if we leveled off at 8,700, we'd still be at VFR altitudes because of our AGL. 
Okay, I'm gonna maintain 9,500. Embraer, one kilo, Charlie, advise when you have information. Whiskey at Monterey and uh, expect runway 28 left or right, your choice. Advise which side you prefer. It's gorgeous. Thank you, Charlie, Roger. Thanks. Delta 1741, contact Portland approach 124.35. The Beta 3 is clunky at best. It was really cool meeting the developer of Plane Command at uh, at the con. That was cool. He came up to me and said, he goes, hey, John Fly. Uh, so I Googled my product. I'm the developer of Plane Command. And I did a Google search of Plane Command and Twitch. Delta 1741, Portland approach. Roger. Plane Command and Twitch. And he says, you're the first thing that Bravo popped up. <laughs> Bravo, expect visual approach runway 28 right. Yeah, I wouldn't have known who he was unless he came up to me. He came up to me right after the um, streamer slash YouTube panel. And I, I thought it was, and he was in that, listening to that panel. And he just, during the, during the presentation, he did a search on his phone of playing command and Twitch. And then boom, John fly all over. <laughs> and I, and he asked me, and he asked me point blank. He said, uh, would you be interested in, in beta testing? I said, yes. And he said, also, what can I improve in the product? And I said, I'd be glad to let you know what I think you should improve. And I told him a couple of things, but I think it's a, it's a thing where I need to sit down and analyze what, what I think would be great to have. Uh, but he's open to feedback. And that's the cool part about it, right? Is that we Twitch streamers um, are helping developers uh, become noticed through showcasing their products. And so it's really cool that when they participate with us and give us product to help, etc. cetera. Um, all right, throttle 2400. Thank you, Tony. Tony, you should fly left seat with me more often. There's 2400 RPM. Thank you. And so, yeah, d here, speaking of developers, boom, right there. There's a developer icon. All right, let's come over here to... Let's go back, go fly plan. We'll add a waypoint. And we'll go KDRO. And then we'll come up here and we'll load procedures. We'll do approach. We'll do the, ooh, RNAV 03 GPS LPV. Why not, right? Uh, transition. We'll go via Rise All, load, activate, boom. So now we have a new plan. And we're turning. Can anyone help you, McDonald's or Tim Hortons? Uh, t uh, Tim Hortons, because we don't have them here. And yeah, where's it going? Let's go to four flight and see what it's doing here. So four flight, flight plan, procedures, um, approach. We're doing the RNAV uh, via Rizal. I see what it's doing. Okay, that's fine. So it's we can go direct Hindi though. Let's do that. We're supposed to be at Hindi at nine thousand. So. Yeah. We'll fly out this way a little bit. We'll fly out this way a little bit and then come back in. Denver Center, November 572 Delta X-ray cancel IFR, please. 
2 Delta X ray Denver Center to certify uh, you'd like to cancel radar services, correct? Sorry. That's right. C cancel flight following. Thank you. 2 Delta X ray. 2 Delta X ray. Roger. Radar service terminated. Squawk and maintain VFR. Frequency change proof. Squawk VFR. Frequency change proof. 2 Delta X ray. So, um, yeah, I'm so used to canceling IFR that I. All right, let's hit VFR. Uh, hit enter. And uh, yeah, we'll go down to vertical speed. We'll go down at 700. Um, we'll then go direct. We'll activate that leg. Actually, we'll go direct to Hindi. There we go. Direct to Hindi. Delta 1741 heading 250 vectors to the final and descend at pilot's discretion maintain 6,000. Uh, if you got in touch with voice attack and HC's voice pack mainly for elite star citizen commands, that would be cool. Yeah, it's a way to branch out for sure. What is that insert called? Uh, what do you mean? Number one kilo Charlie enter right base runway two eight right. I forgot how to re I forgot how to engage LPV mode. I think I just put it into APR mode on the uh, autopilot once we're in what particular range, I think. But we want to be at Wavgi at 7400. So we'll keep going down the mountain. Delta 1741 advised Portland Airport inside, 1 o'clock, 2 0 miles. Actually, let's maintain our altitude here. He's talking about the information Delta overlay. Delta 1741 cleared visual approach, runway 2 Oh, that's uh, if you type in exclamation overlay, exclamation kilo, Charlie, contact, moderate, overlay will. Um, We'll give you the info. Yeah, that's the Benny Sim overlay. Except it's wrong. <laughs> I need to clear out the... Uh, we'll take off the uh, progress for now, since we're not doing that route. And we're at 8,700 feet. Uh, Jubep at 8,800. Yeah, we're fine. All right, left turn in 10 seconds via the RNAV GPS approach. Two seconds. Let's get a... Here we go. Here's the turn. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Mm-hmm. All right, we're at Jubeb. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to engage approach mode. And yeah, we're LPV engaged. That's interesting. So this may take us down. Huh. That is cool. GPS. As you can see here at the bottom, it says LPV, and yeah, we're supposed to be at Jubep. Actually, Jubep is at 8,800, so it's going to, uh, it's, it's fine. But the real test will be if we get to Wavgi, the, the, the waypoint beyond that, which is Wavgi at um, 7,400. Yeah, I think it's going down. 
Now it's just a matter of managing our speed. So to initiate the descent as current speed, just say flight level change and reduce throttle input. Okay. Yeah, I'm on an LPV approach, so. is the, uh, Yes, this is a, well, yes. The Reality XP GTNs are a payware add-on. But the plane itself is not payware. Ted Prime wanted to use the Benny Sim overlay just for you, but you're no streamer. It required too much of a setup. Yeah, it's really uh, unless you have the streaming software up, and you won't, you wouldn't even see what's there. So, all right, landing lights are on. Things look good. Does the GTN 650 work in that? Con it, the 650 doesn't work in this in this config, but I've got the 650 to work in another plane. I can't remember which one that was. Was it the the Jetstream maybe? Hey, Ninja with a guitar, how you doing? All right, we're approaching Jubep. So as you can see here on the four flight view, uh, that's the Jubep waypoint. Jubep, we're supposed to be at 8,800 feet, and then it should take. If we're still on the LPV approach, it should take us down. We should probably get rid of that Alt button though. Hopefully, it starts us down the mountain. It, no, it's not on the org store. Uh, I think it's real. Is it reality dash xp dot com? I think it's reality dash xp dot com. All right, plane start to go down. Yes, LPV is engaged. Runways in sight. Oh baby. I love it. An automatic vertical descent using the GPS. How cool is that? Let's manage our speed though. That is so cool. Yeah, there you go, Rod. Thank you. Rod, is it true that you flew into Ogden? You were so close to me. I should have I should have come up and bought you a burger. I heard I had heard rumors that you flew through Ogden. Vision Byte just profited ten thousand. Wow. There goes your Airbus. What do you mean, Ted? This is so cool. LPV approach. Mm. Two weeks ago. Nice. I hope you enjoyed Utah, the scenery. We flew uh, past Ogden today. We flew from Logan over to Brigham City, down through Ogden, the Ogden VOR, in the uh, in the Twin Comanche, the new Twin Comanche. It was fun. Reality XP versus Jar Airbus one to zero. <laughs> okay, I get you now. Yep. Are you holy snack lips? We crossed over five thousand followers. We crossed over five thousand followers. Happy days! I, maybe you guys mentioned it, mentioned it in the chat. I don't know, but we did, we hit, we crossed over five thousand followers. That's cool. Oh snack! That's right. I guess we got to do a giveaway, right? 5,000 follower giveaway? Why not, right? All right, let's slow down. 
Still on the LPV approach. Love it. So if we were in really bad weather, no ILS, but our GPS can take us right down. Mmm. Juicy. 5,000. Thank you, Rudyism. Thank you, Ted. Thank you, Bird. Thank you, Vision Bite. Thank you, Ninja. You had lunch at, at camp, a great little sandwich shop called Doolittles. Ah, nice. Well, if you ever want to uh, hang out again, let me know. Or not hang out in the future. I'll meet you either in SoCal and we can do a Delta transition over Limburg, Or I'll meet you in Ogden. Or actually, we should just all of us should come up that way. Okay, the plane is oscillating a little bit. Uh, let's go uh, autopilot off. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Mega Mass. Thank you, Pink Hair Dye. <laughs> Man, I can't believe how many followers I got today alone. All right. We're a little bit fast. We're a little left of center. But that's okay. Ooh. 94. Zero bank. Welcome to Durango. Put my flaps up. Thank you, MD. Yeah, that was good. Thank you, Master Matt. What town are you in? Uh, no, I'm I'm about uh, f probably about f 50 minutes from Ogden. 45, 50 minutes from Ogden, south. Yeah, I need to watch your. Uh, I need to watch your Limburg tour, SoCal tour video. I watched, of course, the uh, the video of from Santa Monica over to Catalina. That was pretty cool. Uh, but I need to watch the so the San Diego one. I did that Delta transition over Limburg with Josh in a in a Cessna in the real world. That was a lot of fun. And there was an air. There was a there was a uh, I think there was a 787 that was taking off from Lindbergh when we were doing the Delta transition, if I remember correctly. The Bay Tour video is awesome. Oh, good. Uh, great milestone. Thanks, Mega Mass. This time last year, you had, what, 100 followers? Boy, I think that's about right, Tony. Yeah, I had, uh, well, we started in, we started in October of 2015, right? So... Uh, we're we're only a year, a little over a year and a half. No, I guess we're a little more than a year and a half. We're well in in three months. We'll be uh, at two years, so we're a year and a uh, year and nine months, I guess. All right, let's take off. You had some calm audio issues, so you dubbed in some music. Is it, yeah. I think you do really well with switching the views, at least on that Santa Monica video. You were doing a lot of scene switches, and it was really cool. There were stutters? Really? I didn't see any stutters. On this end, there were. Oh, okay. Hmm. Let's get up to altitude and then we'll track the Cortez VOR. Stutters here as well. Oh, bummer. In the stream or in from the sim?
Could be a Twitch thing. Hmm. Yeah, I may not. I may not have the sounds up. I can turn the sounds up though. Sound. Uh, well, they're pretty up high. Let's go here. Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe it's in the volume mixer. No, that one's up high. Huh. Sounds. Oh, hey. We got a subscribe. Hi, John. Did you repaint your plane or something? Six months. John Fly Osnick. John Fly Osnick. We got a subscribe. Thank you, Chili Willies. Yes, uh, we have three different paint jobs for this plane. We've got the gold, the yellow, and the red. But uh, thanks, Chili Willies, for the sub cry. It's six months. You get the uh, PFD badge now in the chat. I'm not quite sure why the engine sounds aren't coming on. Because I got full volume. I've got... I mean, there's the exterior, but that shouldn't matter. I guess it did matter. That's weird. That's weird. I wouldn't have thought that they were the interior or exterior sounds would have made a difference. I'm glad I have the PFDB badge because I can actually read it now. There you go. Awesome. He has the Bose noise canceling headsets on for everyone. Exactly. Yes, make a, a archive of this video for sure. So how, let's see. Eh, I've got the sounds turned down right now. All right, let's check the uh, the VOR. So we'll go over to here, and we'll go back, and we'll go nearest, and we'll go VOR. We want to do the Cortez VOR. Hit the frequency. Um, we also want to do. We'll change that into there, and we'll go there, and we'll go Cortez, and we'll go activate, and we'll go autopilot on, and we'll go vertical speed. We'll go up at 500 feet per minute. We'll take the uh, approach mode off, and we'll go into nav. There we go. Which is the PFD badge? Uh, you have it, Al. It's that's a PFD. Get rid of the Inviso sticks. What do you mean, TPA 121? What? Explain your your phraseologies. All right, we are 35 miles, 36, 35, almost 36 miles from Cortez. 98 ground speed pretty cool the only thing is I haven't figured out how to sync these two and I, I'm not sure you can the Invisa sticks are awesome I can't believe we crossed 5,000 today thank you guys gals Whew. all right there's 10,000 oops go ahead and level off there In fact, we'll go down 
We need to be at a VFR cruising altitude, so we'll go down to uh, 8,500. Actually, technically, we're we're in VFR altitude right here because, yes, we're fine at this altitude because our AGL. So, on the f here, I wonder if it'll show our AGL. There's our GSL. Ground speed distance track. Traffic. Waypoint info. Terrain. Terrain proximity. What do you guys think? How do we get our AGL? Maybe it would be menu change user fields I don't necessarily care about maybe I'll change this to G uh, GS or AGL well give me AGL nope it'll just give me GPS out GPS altitude should be a, mm, there's no way because there's no act there's no radar There's no radar to say what our AGL is. Calls for a reality XP GTN giveaway. Yeah, we may, I'd probably just give a gift certificate. Eating breakfast and watching John fly. Hello, Pilot Brandon. It would be cool if you had some sunglasses that were the color of the background so we could see through your eyes. I can try to find some green glasses that would work yeah TPA never said why to get rid of the inviso sticks and he misspelled inviso sticks but he didn't come back to defend his statements Brandon Ford how you doing Thank you for the compliments. The engine sounds a little bit hot. Let's bring that back. Let's peak our EGT. Oh yeah, it's already peaked. There you go. Oh, I, I reduced the throttle before you said something, Tony. Because, yeah. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to download the update because the uh, John Fly logo got blocked. But uh, Cessna Rocks made an update. I need to download it. So I'm tempted to get a 6 terabyte hard drive for Ortho, but at the same time, you don't want money leaving your wallet. Flight sim problems. <laughs> yeah. Well, just do uh, Chili Willies. Just get a uh, 5 terabyte, a 4 or 5 terabyte USB. Uh, hard drive um, and run your ortho off of that like so like on Amazon we got a subscribe oh snack our tatterin thank you for the subscribe rod thanks for the six months in a row we got a subscribe I appreciate that very much thank you for the support six months that's cool. All right, so Chili Willies, just just right here, just just grab this bad boy, a Western digi Digital four terabyte uh, USB three point oh hard drive, hundred and fifteen bucks, and then run all of your ortho off of that. the The downside is cheap, but the downs the upside is you could you can run you can run it off of that. Uh, it's just the downside is it's a slow load, but once it's loaded, then it would work. I, that's what I run Europe on. I run Europe on uh, external hard drive. Literally, literally just bought that drive this week. Yeah. Now, if you want to save up, uh, I, I I run the eight terabyte um, Seagate uh, hard drive which is now oh that's not a bad price there 
7200 RPM. Is that right? All right, so this one is, if you can buy that one, I think that one right there, that's a 7200, is that 7200 RPM? I think that one's, yeah, six gigabits a second. 265 for that eight terabyte hard drive. That's very similar to the one that I run. I don't run the Iron Wolf, and it's designed for a NAS, but. There's a Barracuda Pro 7200 RPM. Okay, that's probably the one. Surveillance hard drive. A couple of options. But yeah. You have twin six terabyte W Western Digital Greens, have no issues. Yeah. What happens with night flights in Europe if everything is on Ortho 4 XP? Uh you see everything because the overlays control the uh the, the street lights and the road lights and the uh, city lights. You're getting an i7 processor, uh, one terabyte NVIDIA graphics, a oh, one terabyte hard drive NVIDIA graphics that will run FSX smooth. Yeah, you'll enjoy that. I guess the i9's out now. Hey, Spiffy T6, how you doing? Do you have a backup? Of your ortho, yes, I do. Google Hex. I run a completely uh, separate computer that has a backup of both the United States and Europe. It's now my trucking sim computer, which I think on Monday I, or Tuesday I'll be uh, receiving uh, a new webcam, a new audio mixer, a new uh, one of these arms that hold the uh, that hold that hold the microphone, and also something else. That's anyway. That's going to be purely for the trucking sim, and the trucking sim is a, the 4K TV. And I'll be uh, maybe on Wednesday I'll be doing some American truck sim. So, and we'll talk about flight simulation. Uh, you would add RAM chili. I think that it, let's, uh, you want a minimum of 16. 16 gigs of RAM for sure. I don't know if X-Plane would take advantage of anything more than 16, to be honest. But I could. Does it, guys? Does anyone know? I don't think it will. But I run like 32 gig, I think, in this one. Um, this one's 48 gig, sorry. 48 gig and it's an i7 7700 at 4.2 gigs 48 gig is overkill <laughs> I want to like ATS but I can't get past the time compression oh yeah you want the the real life stuff all right we're 17 miles out from the Cortez VOR let's go down here and Let's go back, let's go uh, flight plan, and we'll go menu, and we will delete the flight plan, add a waypoint. We want to go nearest airport, Cortez, is that right there? Um, activate that we'll then go to flight plan ah, let's just put it in KCEZ and then load procedures arrivals again we got an LPV love it we got an LMAV plus V and an LPV let's do the LPV again uh, vectors that's fine remay load and activate. Making the turn, making the turn. 
How do you integrate the GTNs into the panel? Uh, it's the uh, you can find all ab all about it on the. Uh, I gotta bookmark this bad boy. All right, let's bookmark this for the stream here. Pilot Brandon, there's the link. Yeah, throw a link up, uh, Brandon. We can critique the uh, specs that you've specked out. Why not put that new equipment on the flight simulator and your old equipment on the trucking simulator? Um, I, I could do that, Mega Mass. That's not a bad idea. Um, I have a Behringer audio mixer on this, but I, and I sound fine, right? This microphone sounds pretty good. Um, on, I used a USB headset on the trucking simulator PC and the USB headset just didn't sound very good. So I got the new I got a new Yamaha mixer and a new um setup for that. So I could put, and the new webcam is a I have a 9 a Logitech 920 web camera for this PC uh, and it's pretty good. I mean, look at my picture. It's pretty good, right? The one that's coming is a, is the is the new version. It's the 922 webcam streamer pro whatever. Uh, I could put that on this one, but this one seems to be doing fine, right? So, no, no, Tony, I, I, I don't have. I basically, I'm running two complete streaming setups, right? So I'll have the trucking slash project cars, iRacing, Assetto Corsa. Yeah, Assetto Corso, Corsa. Uh, I'll have the steering wheel sim, right? Uh, completely separate. And like I say, we're gonna try to get better audio and better video f coming this week. So I, I won't be selling the Behringer. I've been reading though that the Yamaha, I got this new Yamaha mixer and it's supposed to sound really good. So I'm looking forward to testing out uh, different microphones uh, into that mixer. This is a, the Sennheiser This is the Sennheiser E835 microphone, and it's like if I talk over if I talk over here, you can't hear very very well, right? I have to really talk into it. Whereas um, a microphone that I'll be trying on the truck PC, unfortunately, will pick up a lot more uh, sound around me, and, and and it's not as directional. I guess it's called a uh, instead of a I guess it's called a dynamic microphone and it's um, I think it's Audio Technica but I can't remember the model number offhand you have the Yeti Black I heard that people talk angle the Yeti wrong sometimes and I guess you have to have it like this and not like not pointed at you Chill Blast there's there's the PC yeah the the, the advantage to having the very directional microphone is that you don't pick up my speaker over there very well so I can I don't have to have headphones on for pilot edge for all these other different things I don't have to have so all right let's bring up the four flight view we'll go flight plan uh, we'll go clear we'll put in K C E Z we'll do procedures approach uh, we're doing the RNAV what did I choose RNAV 2-1 right yeah the RNAV 2-1-Z GPS 
and we're going via Rime. All right, so we're over here. We're going to Rime, and then we'll make a procedure turn of sorts. <laughs> Not really. Back to Okel, and then Okel on in. And we're supposed to be at Okel at 9100. So we'll go ahead and descend down to 9100 now. And we'll do a vertical speed mode. Bring back our throttles a little bit. Oh, thanks, Chili Willies, for helping him out there. Uh, do you think I should get XP Realistic Pro or the GTN? Uh, I, I go for the GTN. But I think the GTN is double the price of XP Realistic Pro, isn't it? There is a new Oreo flavor. Nice. All right, let's do a giveaway during this landing, right? Let's celebrate 5,000 followers on the John Fly channel by doing a giveaway. What we're going to do is we're going to do a get we'll do a spinner first. And the spinner decides whether or not it's a John Fly auction. Or keyword. Let's see if the spinner actually works. There's a spinner. I'm going to spin it th three times. Let's see if it works. All right, the third time. This is the this this third time counts. This is the second time. And this is this is the moment where it counts. This is the actual moment. Right here is what we're going to do. And it's a JFM auction. So we'll come over here. We'll go auction. Uh, the prize. Uh, let's... There you go. There you go. Uh, an auction. Yeah, a new auction has started for a gift X Plane Org store. Should have been gift certificate. Uh, type in exclamation bid and the amount that you want to bid on the prize. Google Hex is the high bidder at 2000. 2000 2001 now, money ball, money ball. Oh, we got, ooh, 85,000 bid. 85,000 bid. Your prestige level is assistant janitor at the end tower there. At least you get to watch planes, though, antisocial woodworker. All right, let's increase our throttle. I'm going to be at uh, Oakhill at 9100. 
Oh, we're almost there. Ah, we can just level out there. That's fine. Okay, we should make a turn here in 10 seconds. It's gorgeous around here. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the desert. There's the turn. Oh, baby, baby. Making the turn, making the turn. Let's do... Let's get settled. Iowa Flyer, high bidder at 85,002. Okay, and I see the airport. Let's go into approach mode. And let's get rid of the alt mode. And let's make sure our approach is activated. I think it is. Yeah, it's, it's, right? Oh, oops. It was already activated. Iowa Flyer still the high bidder at 85,002. Palme at 8,500, so let's go down. There's 8,500. So we'll get out of that and we'll stay in the approach mode. Yep, there we go. LPV engaged. So now it changed from term to LPV. So now it's just a matter of managing our speed. So we'll bring back the throttle a little bit. Where's the auction timer? I think it comes up every once in a while and says there's so much time left. But I think what happens is that Iowa Flyer is the high bidder right now. I think it goes for five minutes. So right now it could be at two or three. And then it'll say going once, going twice. But I think it's probably within, if no one bids, it'll, it'll stay there for five minutes, I think. And then it closes. When installing the GTN, it says select a folder below, I'm assuming. Yeah, you just, yep, exactly. You choose the X.11 root folder. Yep. Seems like we're getting really low. Oh, well, a Tammy. Uh, a Tammy at 8,000? Yeah, we're way low. We're not on the LPV approach anymore. That's interesting. It thinks we're on the LPV approach, but we're not. That's interesting. So I'm going to go off of autopilot. That screwed up. Well, we had one successful LPV approach today. That would be a problem in IMC. You're damn right it would be. Let's retrim. You in the UK? Does it uh does it sound like I have a UK accent?
I'm from Utah, the state of Utah, America. All right, let's put in a notch of flaps. It's okay to put notch flaps in it, 100 knots, right? I would have thought you'd be in one that's the one that the Cessna redid yesterday. Yeah, I should have loaded that up, Iowa. I really, I just forgot about it. In fact, I may do it after we land. It's kind of cool out here. I don't know why the LPV approach did that, but it's kind of interesting. All right. Get your landing rate guesses in. Actually, we'll open up. Let's see if the bedding. Oh, Iowa Flyer 1. Okay, the bedding is now open for the landing rate. The bedding is now open for the landing rate. Congratulations to Iowa Flyer. The high bid, 85,002. Well done. I will get you the gift certificate code. Congratulations. Thanks for helping me celebrate uh, 5,000 followers for a plan purchase today. Nice. Uh, you can bet, by the way, guys, it's the betting's open, so you have to do exclamation bet space and then the number and then the, the amount of John Fly Miles. But get in quick because I'm about to land. A little bit of trim. Okay, the bedding is closed. It actually, the, the, the overlay said I landed and I hadn't. <laughs> 122. Flap zero. Flaps going up all the way. <laughs> Landing lights off. Landing lights off. Taxi light on. Taxi lights on. Strobe lights off. Strobe lights off. Navigation lights off. Navigation lights off. Bada. All right, let's welcome to Cortez. When Cortez landed at Cortez, he broke out into a song where he tried to fake a Spanish accent, but it did not go over very well with the audience because he had too much Utah in the, in the Spanish accent. But today, we celebrate the landing in Cortez. All right. We won't turn the plane off this time for the replay. <laughs> but we will disconnect from Pilot Edge. Disconnected. Uh, the landing rate was 122, so the winner was option number two. We had a total of 12,550 JFM were bet. Four viewers won six viewers lost. But it, <laughs> it's funny the landing rate went off before I landed. So we need to tweak the landing rate plug-in. After all that, I think only four of us actually bet properly. <laughs> no. Ten people bet total, but yeah. The article you gave me has a forum and a picture of the GTN. Not yeah, Pilot Brandon, read the forum. So it gives you a, there's a link to a Dropbox link to download the uh, file. And then it also gives you a link to where to go purchase the GTN 750. Read the forum. Does that make sense? Because there's two different places, right? So I can't give you one link to go to get the file. 
and then I'd have to provide you with a second link to go and purchase the GTN. So, uh, yeah. People didn't bet properly. <laughs> All right. Replay. I'm going to go download the uh, John Fly livery. There we go. Download that one. Down. Jamie. Well then, we happy year already. Congrats, John Fly. Happy six months to you, Jamie Sundor. Jameson. Jamie Sundor. We got a subcribe. We got a Jamie. subcribe. Half a year already. Thanks for the subcribe, Jamie. Should I call you Jameson or Jamie? You told me once. You told me again, I'll remember it. We do have a subcribe. Exclamation bet space landing rate amount of bet. Uh, it's basically exclamation bet and then the number, that the range that you want to bet on and then the amount of John Fly Miles. So in this case, if you had said exclamation bet space 2 space 10,000, you would have won 10,000 John Fly Miles because I landed between 101 and 130. Oh, look at that. It completely changed the rate. Look at the rate there. Look at the rate there. 37. <sighs> we should go back to the XGS plugin. Because seriously, look look at this. The line rate plugin is going to say 30, uh, 32. Or, or different. Alright, I'm downloading the gold. I'm downloading the yellow. And I'm downloading the red. That one, 37. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm opening the bet right now for that landing. Right? You can bet in the next, if you bet in the next 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Close the bet. No one bet. <laughs> yeah, we got to go back to the XGS plugin. All right, so let's load the XGS plugin. Google Hex almost got it. Stream is delayed, I know. <laughs> All right, what I'll, what I'll fix. <laughs> Too much delay. Uh, let's let's go to DMB Bird and let's look at the history of DMB Bird here. Where we get? Where are we? DMB Bird. Bird actually said he bet a thousand on one. So I'm gonna give DMB Bird a thousand. There is a thousand. Oh, why is it saying valid user? What? What's it thinking? I'm gonna have to figure that one out. All right, I wanted to do a, a runway view. All right. Rod, thanks again for the six months. Appreciate you being here. Talk to you soon. Your emotes are locked. Do a refresh. Re refresh your web browser. All right, I'll restart the bot. Maybe the bot's not happy. 
uh, on screen. Let's go to the console. And we'll restart the bot. The bot is restarting. Last replay. The tower view. There's the tower view. There's the link there, pilot. All right, so let's try this again. JFM add DMB bird a thousand. Bam, it's working now. All right, did anyone else bet on one? Did anyone else bet on one? Let me know. complain okay I've downloaded all of the John fly liveries so now let's clean up everything here let's go there uh, yeah you, you run the installer again pilot Brandon how, how did you get rid of the default 172 Oh, you didn't copy it first. Okay. Yeah, you're supposed to copy it and then overwrite that file. Yep. All right. Maybe it's in your recycle bin, though. Okay, so now we're going to unzip the John file libraries. Extract. And we'll extract. And we will extract. All right, let's go take a look. Uh, ooh, there's a lot of joins the channel. Hey, Tim, how you doing? Your bot got a touch crazy there, I know. Okay, uh, I need to go over to C, X plane 11, aircraft. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the John Fly yellow over here, X plane 11, laminar, C172, uh, GTN, liveries. We'll get rid of this, 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 paste. John Fly Yellow. Back to downloads. Let's go to extract the or copy. There's yellow. Uh oh. Uh oh. The yellow is not yellow, and the gold. Uh, the yellow. Basically, they're both. Uh, I wonder if that's John Fly Gold or not. We'll have to find out. Copy. Well, actually, we'll rename. Rename. We'll try it. He may have just misnamed it, but I don't think so. No, I think we need to redownload, or he needs to upload that. So yellow's in, and then John Fly needs to go in. So yeah, you copy the default 172 and then you overwrite with that uh, new 
set of files after you've extracted it. Yeah. All right, let's reload and see if the logo's been fixed. So we quit. We go over here to our lovely, lovely chat screen. Ah, I think I need a snacky snack. Really happy. Um, super duper happy that uh, we crossed the 5,000 follower mark. That just uh, makes me just happy. I love flying with you guys. It's a, it, 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 it's a, uh, it's just nice to have you here. It's, it's, be life is better shared. All right. What I need to do is I need to put the XGS plugin back in. So if I go over to, if I go over here to my, um, resources plugins standby xgs and i copy that into the plugins directory that'll give us our landing rate back in the smaller landing rate plugin that seems to be a little more accurate thank you tony thank you yeah pretty excited quite a number of followers today actually 5,068. 5, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of followers today. Good crowd today. All right. I'm going to go over and see if our new logo has come into that plane. So 